Alrighty. Alright, we're here to take out this seat. As you can see, the shock exploded. But uh, the reason why I started this so early, these are the bolts that came out of it. Half inch. If anybody's uh, thinking about taking out their Freightliner. But don't worry about getting anything big. I got my big impact gun out and these things weren't even tight. You could you could just barely turn them. I mean, that's kind of stupid. I mean, I don't understand why Freightliner does that for. But we're doing this. Um, see how that's going to come up. We're not going to take the whole base off. Um, what else is underneath here? See, there's other stuff underneath here that is not from me. It's literally, it's from the factory. There's everything underneath here. There's caps, there's covers, there's other extra bolts, extra nuts. Jesus Christ, these people. All right, I'll be back with you in a minute. All right, guys, as you can see, the floor is out. My seat's out, I mean. I had to cut the wire on, on the air thing because it wasn't working. I couldn't get it off. But if you need to know to take your seatbelt things off, it is. Oh. 8049-2T, which is a T45. So, the focus. T45 on that, half inch on the nuts that go here. And of course, if you have a freight liner like I do, you could probably just turn them right out like it's nothing. Now I gotta clean up all Maxie's hair and stuff. Then well, like I said, we're gonna switch the seats, put the passenger one over here, which will be easier because then we'll just do it inside. And I'm trying to figure out, this oil did come from this shock or not. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Shock's busted. Shock's not even hooked on. They told me it wasn't my shock. They said I must have spilt something. Lying bastards. They just didn't want to fix it. So, anyway, that's what we got, we got going on. The seat's out. Yeah. Then we'll put the patch of one over here and then... We'll be back when we get on that side. Yeah, so it didn't take long because, like I said, the, the bolts weren't tight. The only thing that was taking me a long time was the line for the air. But it doesn't matter because I have I bought a thousand of these. Not the not the T, but I got all different sizes of these here. So I can just re I just cut the other one and then just replace it with those. So anyway, so there we go. So we'll be back in a little bit more. All right, we got the base out of all the grease so I sprayed grease lightning on it we're letting the grease lightning get kicked in get it all inside and then we're gonna um, scrub it up we're gonna use this cloth here the base right there we uh, took the base off and there was bolts there that would hold the panel up so that was in there since the figure factory Jesus. So anyways, yeah. So we're getting this done here. I just want to get this clean. I don't want to have that oil anymore. I'm sick and tired of smelling it. But that's it. All right. I'll be back. All right. Well, we got the seat in. Switched over. But over there nice and clean. I only have to do two more bolts and then hook up the airline. And start the truck up so I can get airline so I can... Check the seat up, but at least this way, I have a seat now that's not ripped for right now, and then we'll see what happens. But mine ripped right here, started here, and then came down this seam, and then it just that was it. It was just done with. But besides that, we got it all, all done. I got to disconnect the quill column here in the sack. Get that done. Um, get the Omni track pulled out, the wire and everything pulled out, and then get put inside of a box and put away. So, anyway, so 
I'm gonna end this video. Just wanted to show you guys that I got the seat in. I mean, these bolts were not even tight either, dude. I had to tighten them all myself. I wanted them tight the way they're supposed to be. I mean, these things you could just barely put a little bit of pressure on the thing was turning. So we'll get this done. And uh, then we're out of here on Sunday, heading to the new destination, which we will do a video when we get over there. Alrighty, guys. Y'all have fun. Later.